Are there any places that the vice president is overperforming Joe Biden in 2020? So we could show you that as well. We just bring that out here. Harris overperforming 2020. Holy smokes. There you go. Uh, so let this go away and see if there's anything on the east side there. Uh, Literally nothing? Literally nothing. Literally not one county? By thinking about the people who are not a part of anybody's elite who are hurting tonight. Um, uh, there are African-American women who know a little bit about being talked down to and know a little bit about having their economic dreams crushed, who tried to dream a big dream over the past couple of months. And tonight they're trading in a lot of hope for a lot of hurt. Many people have told me that God spared my life for a reason. And that reason was to save our country and to restore America to greatness. And now we are going to fulfill that mission together. We're going to fulfill that mission. All right, y'all, welcome back. You already know what happened. Donald Trump won the presidency. I don't need to get into all the specifics and all the details because you've been watching the news for the past 28 hours and you already know that he won. I'm here for the reactions. I want to see what the heck is going on with CNN, with MSNBC, with all these, you know, left wing political media outlets. I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about. And a lot of them are very, very emotional this morning. And rightfully so, because when your only hope is in a candidate and that candidate loses, of course, you're going to be very disappointed. But first things first, where the heck is Kamala Harris? We haven't seen her. She says she ain't speaking until tomorrow, which is today. So she's not speaking until today, unless she means tomorrow, tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure she means today. But the last thing she posted on her TikTok was this video. Let's watch. Hi, guys. I'm here at Kamala HQ with a couple of updates about what you can expect as results start to come in tonight. Now, this race is close, but we are going to win. Here are the facts. Undecided voters are more open to voting for the vice president than Trump, and we have multiple pathways to victory. Now, every state counts its votes differently. Results will come in for different states at different times. Pause here to see when you can expect to see results from our key battleground states. As votes start to get counted, don't put too much pressure on early returns. There is going to be a lot of movement, and there is a pretty good chance that we don't have a winner tonight, but that is okay. What matters most is that every vote is counted. We also know that Donald Trump will probably falsely claim victory like how he did in 2020, but do not be worried and do not be fooled. Donald Trump doesn't decide who wins. The American people do. Try to be calm and trust the process and send this to your friends and family so that they will do the same. Now let's go win this thing, guys. They, in fact, did not win this thing. They didn't even do nearly as good as Biden did. So you asked, are there any places that the vice president is overperforming Joe Biden in 2020? So we could show you that as well. We just bring that out here. Harris overperforming 2020. Holy smokes. There you go. Uh, so let this go away and see if there's anything on the east side there. Uh, Literally nothing? Literally nothing. Literally not one county? By 3% or more. Literally nothing. He was flabbergasted. That's what somebody said in the comments. Literally nothing. She did not outperform Joe Biden anywhere more than 3%. Literally nothing. So, Major, what battleground state looks good for Kamala Harris tonight? <laughs> I know, you think, keep thinking through them. No, th there is no really good answer for that right now. I mean, even Michigan, which theoretically looks okay, 66%, 53%, okay. That's sort of in the ballpark, but nothing really looks that great in terms. She didn't win any of the battleground states, if I'm correct. Maybe she got one. Maybe she got, I don't think she won any of them. Hold on. Did Kamala win any battle wow the one time google doesn't want to help me fill in the blanks <laughs> battleground states all right trump wins the second term honestly it doesn't matter she really didn't win hardly anything which is hey it is what it is 
as I said, a lot of people are freaking out. Especially this mama right here. Mama over here freaking out. Yes, sir. Donald Trump's about to win. Hey, Sam, get off. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. I can't believe you like him. Any black man that likes Donald Trump ought to be tarred and damn fat. <laughs> what did she say? Any black man who likes Donald Trump ought to be what? I'm looking in the comments. She said torn to the darn feather? What is that? Hold on. I need, I need to listen to this again. Yes, sir. Donald Trump's about to win. Hey, Sam, get off. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. I can't believe you like him. Any black man that likes Donald Trump ought to be tarred and damn fat. <laughs> Mom, why do you say that, though? Yes, sir. Trump, Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Okay, somebody tell me what she said in the comments, please. I don't understand what she said. Look at this. You're seeing these big crowds of people leaving yep. Harris headquarters. I mean, again, you know, she... bro, they have the whole podium set up for her to say something like just come out and say a word. Just say a word. Just say something. Just say hello. We tried. Y'all showed up. Y'all showed out. You, you, she still got how many votes? She got a lot of votes still. Like, how many votes she get? Hold on. Let me see. She got 66 million votes compared to 71 million votes. She got 66 million people voted for her. You can't come out and say, hey, thank you for showing up. Thank you for voting. Can you understand why they're leaving? But this is a bit of a, a symbol here for the state of the race right now. Right. Well, the fact that she's not speaking tonight is a symbol of the state yes. of the race, yes. right? Yes. Wow. Crazy. Kamala Harris couldn't even go out and address the supporters tonight. See, I tried to tell y'all about that lady. Y'all ain't going to never see that lady no more. And I doubt y'all going to see her tomorrow. That lady was going to use y'all to get in there, but God stepped in. And y'all can sit up and say whatever y'all want about Donald Trump. Y'all can say, oh, well, he um he about to really change the world. Y'all, he going to put the blocks on these borders. He going to do this. He going to do that. But y'all got to also remember that Donald Trump was our president in the pandemic. That a lot of y'all that benefited from a lot of things that Donald Trump did. For example, some of y'all black people got eight and nine hundred dollars in unemployment. Y'all know y'all ain't never worked that much. A lot of y'all got pandemic money. Y'all got that PPE, PPP loans. Y'all remember all that? Hey, y'all better be careful with them PPPs. They they still prosecuting them PPP fraud loans. Y'all better be careful. Y'all don't remember all that, do you? And y'all got the audacity to say that he is a racist. He may be a racist. But so if you, if you blow, you vote based on race. Mm. That's all I got to say about it. Mm. But y'all ain't see her behind when Joe Biden. Oh my goodness, that was a word. <laughs> I want the president. Y'all ain't going to see her now. And y'all ain't going to never see her no more. Y'all have a good night because y'all said some crazy stuff on the internet. She don't got glow real. Oh my God. It is glow a real. disgrace to all women of anything mm. for want for these women to be up here half naked on a campaign trail. She don't got million and stallion. They should have got Maverick City to do that song with uh Glow Rilla and Kirk. She don't got Carly B. She don't got the top. <sighs> How about can we have some kind of class on the campaign trail? But all of that didn't matter. For you, forty million dollars. Mm. What do you mean? Forty million dollars. Good night. She spent forty million dollars on what? On 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 Glorilla and Cardi B and Beyonce and J Lo and and, and and Oprah features. Many people have told me that God. Spared my life for a reason. And that reason was to save our country and to restore America to greatness. Mm. And now we are going to fulfill that mission together. We're going to fulfill that mission. 
The task before us will not be easy, but I will bring every ounce of energy, spirit, and fight that I have in my soul to the job that you've entrusted to me. This is a great job. There is no job like this. This is the most important job in the world. Just as I did in my first term, we had a great first term, a great, great first term. I will govern by a simple motto, promises made, promises kept. We're going to keep our promises. Nothing. Hey. Well, hold on. Let me look. look. You can finish. Nothing will stop me from keeping my word to you, the people. We will make America safe, strong, prosperous, powerful, and free again. He said God spared his life to restore America to greatness. And nothing will stop him from keeping his promise to you, the people, to us, the people. Trump. We going to be watching. Because here's the thing. You know, we get so excited about. We get so excited about. Electing. But now is when the work starts. Now it's like, OK, what are you going to do once you're in office? You know what I'm saying? So let's see what he does. Is he going to expose it? Is he going to drain the swamp? Is he going to release all the, you know, stuff? Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We got to go here. We got to go here. We got to go here because they were low key freaking out. And I get it. Like I said, like I said, when all of your faith is in an individual instead of God, and when that individual lets you down, of course, you're going to be upset. Of course. I think oh, yeah. when it's all said and done, what you're going to see is a huge divide mm -hmm. over people who are college educated and not college educated. Black voters came through for Kamala Harris. White women voters did not. Pure Project 2025 in miniature in Florida. And that kind of extreme sort of extremist right wing fascist type government in Florida. Does that make it a more attractive place? Mm -hmm. Thinking about the people who are not a part of anybody's elite who are hurting tonight. Um, uh, there are African-American women who know a little bit about being talked down to and know a little bit about having their economic dreams crushed, who tried to dream a big dream over the past couple of months. And tonight they're trading in a lot of hope for a lot of hurt. OK, but bro, this is what I said, man. Y'all keep pointing. You keep pointing people to people. Point them to God. Tell them to put their hope in God. So regardless of what happens on this earth, you have a firm foundation. You are rooted in a firm foundation that is unshakable. That's my issue with this whole thing. But, yo, I'm happy Trump won. Congratulations to him. Um, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to see what he does in these next four years. And um, I'm curious to see what's going to happen immediately like in the next two three four five six months um just to kind of see collectively how we respond um as americans and as christians too you know let me know what you think get in my comments like this video i'm out y'all